Thanks, Matt. I'm Eric. I'm one of the co-founders of FeaturePeak. We're so excited to be part of the Netlify team, and I can't wait to show you what we've been working on together. So I have an open pull request here in a deploy preview. This is just a copy of the Jamstack Explorer site um, that's been open in a pull request from Jason, um, and I'm here to review it. So in the lower left, um, I see this little button here, and I can hover over this and get quick access to some important tools. I can easily record my screen, take a screenshot, or open this page up uh, on a mobile device to test mobile responsiveness and use the collaborative features right on mobile as well. Uh, if I click this, I can open up the drawer. And this is where I can see uh, context about the pull request. So I can see the title, the changes Jason made. Uh, I pushed some commits as well. I can see the labels and the branch it's being merged into. And a conversation going on with my team where they're talking about some of the hero text. And they've even filed new issues as well. So I'm reviewing this pull request, and I'm going to take a screenshot. So I'll just click Take Screenshot. And a little countdown timer will start in the lower left. Uh, now that my screenshot's taken, I can mark it up a bit. So I'm just going to crop this area, and I'm just going to make this little arrow here. And I'm going to use this in a new comment. That'll go right to the GitHub pull request. So it'll upload, and it'll open back up in the drawer. And I can tag my teammates here, and I can say, Jason, is this padding? Correct. And let's put some emoji in there as well. There you go. Um, and I'm just going to click Submit. Uh, that'll get added to the, the drawer here in the, in the activity view. Um, and it'll, get all, it'll also get synced to the pull request as well. And any comment or ticket that's filed uh, through the deploy preview uh, will include important browser metadata so that anyone looking at this comment or issue uh, knows how to reproduce it. So we automatically include the page you were viewing when you filed this, uh, when you left the comment, your browser, your OS, your screen size, um, anything that the person would need to be able to reproduce this. And if you don't have access to that browser, we integrate with Browser Stack. So with one click, you can open up this page in a virtualized environment and reproduce the exact conditions where this issue was found. Uh, so let's jump into the actual pull request. And you can see the conversation is completely synced. It looks just like it does in the drawer. Um, and the browser metadata is also attached in the pull request as well. So going back uh, here, I can even mark the, co uh, the comment as resolved. Let's say I talked about this issue with JSON and the padding was correct. I can just mark it as resolved, um, and it'll, it'll hide, but I can always open it up too just to see that there was an old comment um, that had been resolved. So let's say I'm browsing the page, um, and other members of my team are looking at it too. Um, and oh, I get a little badge here, a little button here, uh, a little badge on the button. And I just open it up, and there's an in-app notification from Matt. Oh, thanks. Great demo. So as other people on the team are reviewing, you'll get notified of comments that they're making and activity going on as well. So let's say I'm browsing the page, and I see a new issue, maybe something that wasn't uh, caused by this pull request, but something that's not quite right. Uh, this astronaut looks a little funky, and I think something's broken with the CSS. So I'm going to take another screenshot. And this time, I'm going to use it in an issue. So let's highlight the astronaut. And we'll kind of crop it right there. And instead of using it in a new comment, um, I have GitHub, uh, GitHub issues attached, or GitHub issues enabled, and Clubhouse enabled. Um, so I'm going to use this in a new Clubhouse story. My team's been using Clubhouse lately. And I'm going to click Use in a new story. And it'll open up the drawer. And here, I can just say, astronaut CSS looks broken. Um, assign this to uh, this project. I can also um, assign owners and labels, anything you would do if you were using Clubhouse. Um, and I can also tag my teammates here as well, and it'll be contextual to the issue tracker and the integration that I'm using. So in the same way that when I was doing a GitHub comment, I could tag my GitHub team, I can tag my Clubhouse team members too. So I'll tag Jason here, but this is his Clubhouse username, not his GitHub username. Um, does this look right? I'll click Create Story, and it'll file this new issue in Clubhouse. I can open it up right here. So here's the issue I just filed. Um, I can also go to the drawer and the activity. It's right here in the drawer. And it's also commented in the GitHub issue, uh, or sorry, in the pull request as well. So everything's synced. The conversation is up to date no matter where you're viewing it. Back to the drawer, um, there's, the in, uh, there's integrations uh, where you can connect any of your issue trackers. Uh, currently, we support GitHub issues, Clubhouse, Linear, and Trello. But we're going to have lots of different integrations with project management tools and issue trackers coming out very soon. 
Uh, you can also manage your Netlify team members right from the drawer as well. So uh, you can invite collaborators to your site. And we're even invited, we're announcing a new role called a reviewer, which is completely free uh, and doesn't impact billing. And you can invite unlimited amounts of reviewers uh, to your team. And they have access to use the collaborative tools on deploy previews um, and just view deploy previews that you've invited them to. And um, that's completely free. And you don't even need a GitHub account to be able to be a reviewer. You can also view your Netlify deploy logs if you want to check out what uh, the build and deploy steps look like for Netlify, and you can view your site settings as well. Uh, so that's just a quick overview of the collaborative deploy preview features. Uh, we're so excited for you to uh, use it, and it's available today for all Netlify users. So head to netlify.com and check it out. And with that, I'll hand it back to the team. Thanks.